Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm here today reviewing the La Spaziale S5 coffee machine. Uh, workhorse of the La Spaziale range, probably the most popular machine by La Spaziale that we sell. S5 has now been superseded by the S9 and the S8. I, essentially, it's just a facelift on the same machine. Uh, the S8 differs in the fact that it doesn't use lever steam, it has a rotary turn steam as well, so for people who prefer to, to use rotary. Okay, what you've got on the actual uh, machine itself, you've got the standard La Spaziale painted to, uh, steam controlled heat exchanger. What does that do? Well, very quickly, uh, what happens in a normal coffee machine is you've got basically your heat exchangers traveling through your boiler, uh, the water from the boiler heats the water in the heat exchangers and the water in the heat exchangers are what provides you water for your coffee. Okay, So that, uh, as the water travels through the heat exchanger, by the time it reaches your group head, it's about the right temperature for coffee, having cooled since leaving the boiler. And then, so that then means it's hitting your coffee at around the 1992 mark, which is what you're looking for for coffee. The obvious problem for that is if you have uh, take a load of hot water off, what obviously happens, the boiler empties by however much you've taken off, cold water comes in to replace that, the cold water then makes the temperature drop inside the boiler for 20-30 seconds let's say while it's recovering. Uh, if you then press for an espresso, uh, the water's going to be coming through the heat exchanger at a colder temperature and then you're not going to get a crema on top of the coffee, uh, it's going to taste, it's not going to extract as well so you're going to get a slightly weak tasting coffee and it's not going to be hot enough as well. Um, so. To get away from that, what they did was they basically put the heat exchangers in the top of the machine where the steam is, essentially, because in the coffee machine boiler, obviously, you've got the steam uh, used for the cappuccino in the top of the boiler. Uh, and what that did was it means that the cold water can come in and out uh, below uh, and the temperature differentiations on the actual water of the boiler does not affect as much the group head. Obviously, there is still a small effect, but it's, it's much more reduced by using the steam controlled heat exchanger. Okay, what else is different? Uh, what else is different is we'll start to use a um, reduced diameter uh, group basket uh, handle. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Filter basket, get there in the end. So the filter basket, as you can see, is much less than a standard E61. Uh, why, why is that? Well, if you're tamping uh, on a coffee machine and you tamp slightly on an angle, if you, you're doing that on any other machine, you might get a scenario where the layer of coffee is almost meeting the, the filter plate itself. And that's dangerous because what happens is the water finds a path of least resistance and basically will, will get straight get past the coffee almost, so basically hardly pass through the coffee at all uh, to get through to the holes at the other end. Um, La Spaziale by reducing the diameter means that the actual height of the coffee shot itself increases because the diameter is reduced so it's got nowhere else to go, it has to go up. Um, if I do that on an angle it's going to be more forgiving and that's the reasoning behind the reduced diameter. Uh, group baskets. Okay, filter basket, should I say. Okay, so the, they're the sort of key features on it. Other little features are we have uh, a PID control here across the top. So that's very good because it allows us to specify a temperature of the boiler. Obviously, there's a relationship uh, between the boiler temperature of the water and the water that then comes through to the group head. So by increasing the temperature on this, we increase the temperature of the group head as well. So it allows us to tweak. Uh, with the coffee that we're actually using. Generally speaking, slightly lower temperatures, sweeter notes, slightly higher temperatures, more bitter astringency uh, will come out in the coffee. Um, every coffee will have its own sweet spot, so you have to do a bit of experimenting with that to, to basically find out what it is. But once it's set, it's set, and on this machine it's obviously set better than most because it's not uh, varying the temperature as you're drawing off hot water. Lastly, you've got the steam control, steam, steam nozzles, which are done on a lever steam. So basically it's knock on and knock off. Why is that important? Well, if we were to use a rotary turn, not this one really because this is reduced turn rotary, but typically what I'd do on this is I'd turn it on and then a quarter of a turn to turn it off. Okay, on some machines, especially the cheaper ones, you can be turning the nozzle, to, turning the steam tap two to three times. Um, so the problem there is your staff are nervous, so they hold the hold the, uh, the steam tap because they're worried that they've got to turn it off a few times. They don't get close, they, they sort of stand away because they're scared of burning themselves. They're not looking at what's going on in the milk. They've not got control of the milk jug because they're only using one hand. Whereas obviously if I know that I turn it on and I just need to do that to turn it off, it gives me more confidence. I get in, I get my hand off the jug, put my other hand below, got more control on the milk. And so it gives me much more confidence to make the coffee. 
70 to 80 percent of your drink is going to be cappuccino or latte so that's why it's important if you've got any other questions please do contact us and we'll be happy to help thank you for listening